others who are fasting but are careless about praying their salah. They do not pray. And reciting the Quran. They waste their Ramadan in loitering in food malls. You know, just going around shopping, etc. What's the ruling on that? First of all, we have to understand we are not people judges. The biggest problem is when I think of myself as a good believer, as a righteous, pious, practicing Muslims, Muslim. And then I look at everyone else starting to accuse their Iman, starting to blame their lack of interest in good things, starting to feel boastful, thinking highly of myself, liking what I do and resenting what they are not doing like me. This is the same thing that Satan had and ended up him going into hell. So, Sheikh, we should not comment. No, 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 Akhi, don't get me wrong. It's the feeling that goes into your heart. When I read this question, I get this sense. Now, what is mandatory upon them to fast Ramadan? Are they fasting? Yes, they're fasting. But, wait, wait, wait. Are they, are they fulfilling the pillar? Yes, they're fasting. Okay. Do they pray five times a day? Yes, Sheikh, but not in the masjid. Okay, this is sinful. We might bring this up to them in encouraging them. Going to shopping malls, food malls, spending time buying clothes. Is it haram? No, it's not haram, Sheikh, but they should. What they should do is something different. You have to weigh and know the preferences in Islam. Don't you know that there is a hadith that a man came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, tell me about salah. He said, to pray five times a day. He said, anything more? The Prophet said, no, except if you want to offer voluntary. Tell me about fasting. He said, to fast Ramadan. Anything more? He said, no, unless you want to add something voluntary and so on. So the man said, by Allah who had sent you, I will not deduct or add more than what you had said. Meaning, he would only pray five times a day, full stop. He would only fast Ramadan, full stop, etc. And he left. And the Prophet said, by Allah, if he was telling the truth, he will succeed. The guy is not going to pray tahajjud, nothing extra other than the five daily prayers. Yet the Prophet said that he would succeed. So when you and I come and evaluate others and say, oh, this brother is, doesn't pray taraweeh with us in the masjid. He's a bad Muslim. A'udhu billahi min ash rajim How dare you judge others? So, akhi and ukhti, brother and sister, don't get me wrong. I just want you to open up. And you know the race horses, when they put something beside their eyes so they only see the track, not being distracted, I'd like you to remove this and see the full picture. Now, this doesn't stop us from encouraging them and showing them that Taraweeh has this beautiful uh, reward from Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever prays Ramadan in totality, there is Taraweeh prayer, Allah Azza wa Jal would forgive his sins. Providing he does this, Imanan wa ihtisaban. Man qama Ramadan, Imanan wa ihtisaban. Imanan meaning believing in the Sunnah and the reward of it. Ihtisaban, anticipating the reward from Allah Azza wa Jal, not from others. This is the meaning of Iman and Wahtisaban. So, first of all, praying the whole night of Ramadan. That's too long, Sheikh. You're talking about, about 11, 10, uh, 9, 10 hours a night? That's a lot. Well, Allah has given you concessions. Really? Yes. The Prophet said, Alayhi whoever prays with the Imam until he concludes his prayer, Allah would register to him the prayer of a full night. So if I pray Isha, and then I pray Taraweeh with the same Imam, until he gives Salam from Witr, Allah would give me the nine or ten hours full night prayer. Wow! Not only that, the Prophet said, والسلام, whoever prays Laylatul Qadr, one night, Imanan Wahtisaban, believing in Allah and anticipating the reward from Allah, Allah would forgive his previous sins. Wow! One night. And I don't know which night it is, so... Anyone who prays taraweeh, qiyam, with the imam in the last 10 nights, he's got it done. Who cares if it's the 21st night or the 29th? 
night of Ramadan. Who cares? As long as I prayed the whole last 10 nights, I'm a winner for sure and certain. So we encourage people, but we don't judge them. As long as they're doing what is mandatory and staying away from haram, yes. And always try to call people, not repel them. And Allah knows best.